In this video, we're going to be setting up the code for sprinting. So that way we can incorporate a sprinting animation as well. So I'm going to go to settings, project settings. We're going to create a new input. Remove VR stuff. So it's going to be a new action. Call it sprint. It's going to be left shift and save all. Now, I'm normally I would do this in like our uh, our character movement component, but since this is something as simple for testing, I'm not going to bother. And I've already covered an example of sprinting, even though it's not that great, because I'm doing it the exact same way. So we're going to go to our move forward function. And that's where we're going to change stuff. So we need to create two new functions. I'm going to call it void start sprinting and void stop sprinting. We're going to have control boolean. So bool b is sprinting, if I can even type. So on start sprinting, set it to true. On stop sprinting, we set it to false. Then we're going to have a getter. So we're going to do bool. Or this one's going to be public. Yeah. Bool is is player sprinting. This is going to return b as sprinting. Right, go up to constructor, set it to false. I'm going to remove some remaining VR related crap that we don't want. Good enough. And in our move forwards, so do if b is sprinting, take a value, and we're going to multiply it by 0 0.5. Otherwise, we just leave it. So let's give it a quick test. Come on. And I forgot it's still calling fire. That actually scared me a bit, because I have sound on. And it's kind of cranked up a bit. All right, so that's working. We just have it reversed, because I'm an idiot. So if it's, we're not sprinting, I'm going to multiply by half. There, problem solved. So walk it slow, sprint, walk slow, sprint. So now we can get this in our animation blueprint. So we're gonna take our pawn owner. I'm gonna try to do a cast to BP FPS character. And I'm gonna do, uh, actually set this up a little better. So begin play. Create a new variable, call it error player. It's going to be the type BP FPS character, object reference. Going to set it upon initial run. And now we can get rid of some of this. and link the rest of it up. All right. Now we need to make a blueprint callable function. I meant to make this blueprint callable initially, but I forgot. I 
for whether or not we're sprinting. All right, so let's see. This is all set. Let me grab player again. Is player sprinting? I can actually do this in a bit of a better order. So if we are sprinting, or if we're not sprinting, we're going to do our walking check. Oops, don't want to create a macro. Create another boolean is sprinting. I'm actually going to move this around. And link everything back up. So we have a way to check if we're sprinting and if we're walking. All right. Let's make a, another adjustment, or another state, I mean, call it sprint. So the conditions are going to be kind of the same. So change is walking out to is sprinting. going to reorder that. And then on the way back, do the opposite. So we can get rid of the is aiming check. That's not needed. Just if we're sprinting, do this. If we're not, then we return. So not sprinting and is sprinting. Right, so we're going to play the idle when we are sprinting just as a test. So right idle, we walk and we sprint. So we're still back at walking. So walking and not aiming, we are not walking. Let's check if we're sprinting. So we're setting our sprinting. We're setting is sprinting to true. I'm guessing this has to be done in our uh, the issue in our state machine. So we stick with the idle when we go this way. Can not get out of the walking. So let's check in his sprinting. So get is sprinting. Let's do the 
Yeah. And we are sprinting, we're going to return. Well, no. We actually just need a way to set that we're not walking. So we're just going to do that. That should fix it. Walking, sprint, return back to idle, walking, idle. All right, so we have our sprint set up. So now we can, in the next video, we'll work on making a sprinting animation. And we'll plug that in. So I'll see you then.